but if there's anyone that wishes to speak to us regarding matters other than the agenda items, and I have two that have indicated thus far that they wish to address us, and we'll start with you. Reverend Jan Reynolds. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Reverend Jan Reynolds, pastor of First Presbyterian Church down the street. I'm here tonight representing Marin Organizing Committee and those standing with me. I'd like to talk about making the future of rest and rotating emergency shelter team a public conversation. Thank you. Sit down. I'll be with you. For eight years during the winter, each week, our church has been part of sheltering 40 men and 20 women. While it's been an honor to provide a warm meal, companionship, and a safe place to sleep, we've always understood this to be temporary. Last year, working with many towns and cities, we agreed to continue rest until 2018 with the understanding that we've all worked together to secure a year-round home for rest. We understand there's a promis promising site on Mark Drive that could serve just such a purpose. This site is large enough for both Ritter Center and year-round rest, but the project appears to be stalled. This fully funded collaborative proposal supported by Ritter St. Vincent's, the county, and the community foundation makes a lot of sense. And yet, members of the San Rafael City Council have told us that they oppose the proposal, even though there's no been no input from the public as yet. We think Mark Drive is a common sense solution. It allows Ritter Center to move out of downtown into a non-residential neighborhood. It allows rest, a critical part of Marin's safety net, to stabilize and help people move into a position to be housed. And it is supported by the county, the community foundation, service providers, and business owners. MLC collected nearly 10,000 signatures in support of a permanent home for rest, and 2,500 of those are from San Rafael. We feel the community should have a voice in this important decision. We are committed to public civil discourse. And we invite our elected leaders to join us in a public conversation about how we can work together. We urge the mayor and the council to support rest at Mark Drive. Thank you very much. And thank you for your time. Good evening, Philip. Good evening, City Council. I'm Justin Kai, current board president of the Moroni Community Services District. I'm not here to speak tonight in any capacity for the district, but as an individual director and Marinwood resident, but as an individual director and Marinwood resident, I have great concern over the potential relocation of rest and Ritter homeless services at 67 Mark Drive in North San Rafael. Due to its close proximity to Marinwood Park and the park and rec facilities and fire services provided by our district. While Mark Drive may seem industrial and isolated, it is in fact surrounded by retail businesses, restaurants, and your North San Rafael con constituents. Terra Linda, Mont Marin, San Rafael Park, Contempo, Civic Center, and many other neighborhoods, as well as the unincorporated communities of Marinwood and Lucas Valley. Please do not simply move this problem to North San Rafael. Our Marinwood CSD has already dealt with numerous homeless encampments in our open, open space, which has posed a significant health and fire risk. If any location is to be chosen, I suggest that a more suitable location can be found out along the northern side of the 580 heading towards the Richmond Bridge. This industrial area past the Target and Home Depot truly does not have any residential communities that would be so adversely impacted like North San Rafael, and is overall a more effective and politically viable location. Unfortunately, the issue of homelessness in the Bay Area and Marin has only gotten worse over the years, and with the more resources and funding that are wasted upon it, demonstrating all we're doing is attracting more homeless to our region. Overall, I implore you to revoke this use permit since this is not San Rafael's responsibility to carry this, carry this burden and prevent further attraction of homeless to Marin and our communities. Thank you. Council members, as a business owner, I'm Matt Brown, and as a business owner here in Santa Fe, I too share deep concerns about the relocation of Ritter and Rest into an industrial park. It is not a true industrial park. It is an office park where businesses thrive. We have a, a trend here in the county of taking productive buildings out of service for places of employment 
where businesses can grow and prosper. And the more buildings that we remove, the deeper our problem gets with, uh, with uh, providing good jobs for people to afford homes and, and goods and services in our community. The, the notion of moving these uses or bifurcating the uses and sharing them between the, the neighborhoods isn't a solution. And for me, this is, this is a problem that government must address and perhaps a problem that government should put on its own property. And I submit that 1600 Los Gamos, which is owned by the County of Marin, would be a terrific location for this. There's very few residential uh, homes in the immediate vicinity, and it would be a suitable location. But it's, it is proven over the last 20 years to be a very difficult place for businesses to locate. So perhaps this might be a better location that doesn't impact directly with businesses. Another location, I know this won't be popular either, and sorry, Justin, but the juvenile hall might be a suitable location. You know, 100 acres that is fenced and, and has facilities for people, showers, commissaries, cooking, etc. that that might also be a suitable location. Both of these are county-owned properties, and perhaps we should, we should look for a government solution on government property rather than impacting individual neighborhoods. This will not be a solution. To, moving to, to Mark Drive will not be a solution. It will just relocate the problems to another neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Stephen Nessel, and I'm from Marinwood. You might say I'm from the Marinwood Unorganized Committee. We're not here today because in mass, and we probably could uh, marshal up about as many people as you see in the room here tonight because we just found out about this uh, just this morning, in this morning's paper. Um, I, I fully endorse what Justin Kai said, but I, I want to add a couple points. First of all, uh, I want to emphasize we have had problems with homeless encampments. Uh, there's a lot of open space in the area, about probably thousands of acres, and we think that um, this would really exasperate, I can't say that word, but it's going to make our problems worse with homeless encampments. We've had three fires that I know of uh, recently, and we uh, regularly have to send our staff out uh, to uh, remove the homeless encampments. We actually don't have uh, uh, an enforcement mechanism. Uh, secondly, the uh, this property is right next to Fairchild's semiconductor toxic waste uh, plume. And I do, I think you're going to have to look uh, look into this, but I doubt that you'll find that this is a place where uh, people can live. So, that, yeah, so two issues, homeless encampments, and secondly, um, the health of the site for human habitation, I think really needs to be looked at. Uh, I know Fairchild is an active cleanup site. Uh, PG&E at 23 Mark Drive uh, had a a remediated site, but probably both of these are being remediated only to commercial standards. So um, this is a serious issue. You can't ignore it. Thank you.